right guys, so this is a real quick one. Thought you might want to see a little machining. So right now I've got this fitting and this fitting. And this is for a John Deere 544H loader. I was changing a pump and the shop I was working in wasn't my own. I was doing it as a subcontractor. And the guy had his assistant clean up and he threw out a box of bolts and fittings. And most of the bolts are easy to replace. But this fitting, you can get the one I've got here. I drilled a pre-drilled hole and uh, I thought maybe you guys want to see it. So I thought I'd catch the rest of it. It's supposed to have an O-ring boss port in the side of it. So the, the fitting with the port in the side of it is obsolete. But you can still get the three-way fitting without the, the fourth. So I got the O-ring face to O-ring boss. It's supposed to go in the side here for that loader. This comes out of the pump high pressure and splits it up into the, um, I think you have a steering valve, a main loader control valve, and I think this goes to a transmission line of some sort. Um, but we got to put a port beside here, O-ring boss. So I pre-drilled the hole. Now we've got uh, the correct size bit to go in here to drill that out. And the steps are, because we need threads and that nice little face fitting to fit the o-ring. So we're going to drill that. And then, I'm going to come over here, still in the mill. And this right here, nice well, $180 cutter. Or, so you don't want to break them. The carbide tipped, four flute. This is an o-ring boss uh, port, porting tool. So then this will come in and we'll cut the seat. And then we'll come through. I've got a 7/16/20, the correct size for a dash four fitting. And we'll go and tap it, and then uh, should be able to thread this in. Put new O-ring on there, and good to go. Let's get started. And in case you haven't seen it, might as well show you what I'm using here. This is my bridge port uh, I've got set up, and it's running. It's an old one. I've got to make a better enclosure, but it's run off of VFD, so I can really control the speed on it. But it's got a pretty good table on there. I'd like to do some work on this. If you guys want to see some, uh, some work on this machine, let me know. Well, let's get started. Make sure the pilot, it's a plain pilot, so that fits in there now, so we can use that. I could use a collet, but I think for this small size, we'll just chuck it up. Should be just fine. We'll get a little more stability by raising our table. Got the uh, surface for the o-ring down there and the flat face that it all seats down on. So now we'll put some threads in there and see how it fits. I do like to be nice and careful because like I said these are expensive. Good to have, 
but I like to make them last. Take care of your tools. I'll take care of you. Now I got this is just a punch, but um, chuck one of these up just to put some light and pressure straight down on your tap. Helps tap the hole nice and straight and even. We'll just put a tap handle on here. Most taps, maybe even all taps, I can't think of I've seen one without. Have this little dimple in the back. It's real good for uh, just pushing them straight. I'm just using this point to keep everything straight. Nice even pressure. It's more controlled than just pushing down spinning by hand. And I think we're all the way through. Yeah, if you've done it right. We'll have your fitting. You can thread right on in there. We'll snug right up. There you go. Now we've got a new custom fitting, which is exactly what I need. It needs to come out of the pump. Right here. And one line, two lines, three lines. Done.